What's up everyone? This is uh, Damien with Hosh Online again and today we're going to be looking at the uh, Crossbones ROM for the Nexus S 4G, the Sprint Nexus S basically and um, there will be links below on where to download all of the uh, files that you need in order to be able to put on your phone to flash. Uh, we're going to start off with just uh, flashing um, because you, by now you probably know how to put the, phone, the uh, ROM on your SD card and prepare it for flashing. Uh, if not, you know, there's a million videos and how to's on how to do that. But okay, we're in Clockwork Mod Recovery, and what we're going to do first is we're going to wipe, cache, Start going case. Okay, cache is wiped. Now we're going to wipe the f data factory reset. Sometimes you can flash uh, modified wipes, and they're fine if you're going from uh, you know basically incremental updates of um, your ROM and versions. Um, but you know, when you're ch completely changing from one ROM to the next, I recommend a full wipe, which is Delvic, as we're going to do now, uh, cache and a factory reset. That way, you know, if you're having a problem, maybe there's a problem with the ROM and not just because of user, user error. Okay. So we wipe Delvic cache and data factory. Uh, reset. So now we want to go into install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And you'll notice there's a couple of crossbone ROMs. And this is crossbones version 0 0.3.1. And um, this is the latest update for the Nexus S4G. There's also a crossbone zero, I think it's 0 0.3.2 for the Galaxy Nexus, but uh, we don't have a Galaxy Nexus. And this ROM is uh, made by JTA462. JTA462. And um, you know, they're, they're not only just building ROMs, they're building uh, would you say a platform uh, they, they started at the uh, the alpha stage and from alpha to beta beta to uh, st stable ROM you know they're, they're just really just going through with each phase and just perfecting it so right now if I'm, I'm not mistaken this is the beta phase phase and um, I've used it so we flashed it and we're gonna go back in and reboot the phone reboot system yeah, and I flashed it and I've been using it. And it's a great ROM. It's actually my favorite ROM for the Nexus S4G. Um, it's stable. It's, you know, it's ice cream sandwich. And, you know, a lot of times they put a lot of uh, extra files, maybe, you know, some screensavers, uh, better boot, boot animation. As you can see, the instead of the Nexus S uh, boot screen, boot animation, you get the crossbones at the bottom. Um, but, you know, for the most part, especially if you're going to be using this as a daily driver, stability is uh, the main main thing that's important. And this ROM is very stable. Everything works. Um, you know, the tweaks and everything, it'd be great when you have them. But, you know, let's, let's face it, it's secondary. I mean, you want your phone to work. You want to be able to send text messages. You want to be able to search the web. You want to be able to access your camera. You want to be able to, if you are if you have WiMAX where you are, you want to be able to take advantage of WiMAX and those speeds and everything works here. So now we're on, um, the ROM is fired up, preparing USB storage and Crossbones, they uh, they introduce you to their ROM. So you get you, your first, your first uh, screen that you come to is the welcome to Crossbones uh, screen. So, you know, you can read through that as you um, as you uh, do it do it on yours, but uh, it also includes the crossbone crossbones kernel uh, 1.0. Well, I'm sorry, 0 0.1.0, based off of codename Android Savage Zen kernel. Uh, I like this kernel, and like I said, this is 
and always donate. Always support your developers. Always support your developers because these guys, they take, I don't know if you know how to program or if you dabbled in it or, you know, just took the time to just get, you know, familiar with what it is to develop an app, a ROM, whatever. It's a lot of time, you know, and it's a lot of time that they could be using to do whatever it is that they want. Time of family, leisure time, whatever. It's time that they took out to look out, you know, for guys like like me and you who love these ROMs and love these devices and, you know, we get a lot of fun out of it. So support your developers and donate. Okay, now this is the Crossbones ROM. As you can see, you know, you get your basic face beam ice cream sandwich, uh, uh, live wallpaper, and I don't think this is running Apex or I, th I think this is just basically stock ice cream sandwich. And um, if you check the versions, this is for Android version 4.0.4 and um, so you're on the latest version of Android and you look at your settings and you know all, all of Android all your your basic ICS settings are here what well, I mean not basic but all of your ICS settings are here and uh, you know it's sweet you know uh, you, you might want to go in and tweak things to your liking. You know, I I, I tend to have a, um, a soft spot in my heart for um, Ice Cream Sandwich Browser Plus. And uh, also Chrome. Chrome works great on this ROM. Chrome, Chrome works awesome. Uh, Chrome doesn't so much work that great on all other ROMs. I know on the uh, Epic 4G Touch, uh, it's horrible. I mean, it's, it's just basically unusable. It is unusable. Uh, but, you know, it, it really shines on the Nexus S4G, so you might want to take advantage of that if you're running this. And, um, let's see the lock screen and, you know, I think this has the uh, face unlock. Let's see, security. Hmm. Maybe not. I, you know what? I can't seem to find it. I'm pretty sure it does have face unlock. Um, maybe not, but you know, face unlock. It's while it's a great, it's a great screen unlock, and it's nice to show off. You know, ICS and Android to your friends, especially your friends with. You know the dreaded iPhones, and you know why would they do that? No, I'm just man. I love iPhones also, but um, you know I I just find like in daily daily life, mm, it's maybe not the best lock screen to have, um, especially if you need to get to your phone really quick. Uh, but that's just my general preference. But um, this is the Crossbones ROM. You you, you know you got your browser, your basic Google Apps, Movie Studio, uh, Torch. Which is awesome, you know. I love Torch on all all devices that that support it, and it's stable. You know, it's stable. It's it's pretty much everything that you could want in an ICS ROM. So, you know, if you're thinking about upgrading to ICS or you haven't, you know, went went about the uh, I don't know if they pushed out the uh, upgrade already over the air, but you know, I've been rooted in ROM so long that. I wouldn't know, but if you if you haven't and you want to try out ICS, I highly, highly, highly suggest the Crossbones ROM uh, for you guys. Uh, there'll be links below in order to take you to the pages to download all the files that you need. So this is Damien with Hasha Online. See you next vid.